You've no doubt maneuvered the orange traffic cones and weaved your way through summer road construction. For some, it's a pretty big headache, while others are staying positive and looking at the big picture. KXY 4's John Hendricks working for you to show us how businesses at these construction zones are making it work. It's the symphony of summer and you can hear it all across Spokane. Drivers, it can be a tune that induces a headache for business owners, a chance to get creative and attract customers. It's, it's just a shame we deal with our harsh winters and all the snow piled up and, and then when we finally get to summer, um, it seems like they tear the entire downtown apart. Tim Nodlin opened a wine tasting room four months ago near Sprague and Monroe. All day, construction equipment passes by his window. It's not deterring him from remaining positive. You can still get around here, you can still find parking, and uh, all the businesses are still open. On the north side of the city, the same summer tune can be heard. We knew well in advance that it was coming. At Beacon Hill, co-owner Pete Rayner is embracing the word. It's a real positive for us because we know the freeway's coming and that's gonna be good for us and good for business and good for the community. His event director, Ali Messer, says things are going smoothly as the soon-to-be newlyweds head up to the wedding venue. All of our wedding clients received a map so they could be directed with just detour instructions from kind of each direction just so that they know where to go to. Spokane County will be striking up the band with more projects of their own coming online. Starting on Monday here on Bigelow Gulch, you can expect delays of up to 20 minutes as the county will be resurfacing this row. They're gonna be using a pilot car to get you through. For these businesses surrounded by orange cones, the message is unifying. We're open for business. They wait for you to swing by and grab a bite or a glass of wine. Reporting in Spokane, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.